What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright, so about three and a half months ago, I made a video on Halo Infinite's weapon damage values. So I decided to revisit these damage values to know what has changed, what has been added, and you know, it's just interesting to know um, what we're dealing with, you know, what kind of weapons we're using, uh, how good are they, how bad are they, and you know how many bullets uh, it takes to kill or how many shots, and yeah, just general weapon values you know anyways um i made a spreadsheet as you guys can see right here um so yeah um just to let you guys know in advance uh that this spreadsheet is not 100 percent accurate for sure because um these testings were done um in the weapon drill section and so you know um it's, it's just a perfect scenario where you don't miss your shots but also i was a little bit far sometimes when it comes to like those close to medium weapons so of course values could change depending on your distance um and also you know just if you hit your shots or if you hit headshots and you know limb shots headshots i don't know they could be different but i just categorized it as body and head and then we got before armor broken and after armor is broken so uh, yeah, this is why i called it bab and aab but anyways, um, in here, all the things that are in black uh, have already been spoken of in my previous video. So I'm not going to talk too much about them. I'm really going to go through the red ones. Uh, these are like the ones that have been changed or that have been added. So uh, yeah, first things first, we're going to start by saying that max health is 2000. Um, but I wrote debatable just because sometimes there are instances where um, it doesn't require 2000. I don't know why. Maybe it's because there's uh, an aftershock or some kind of um, damage that I don't know of. Maybe a uh, fire or something. But yeah, let's just set it at 2k because it's nice and round. Um, anyways, uh, we're going to start with the Pulse Carbine. Um, this was actually 1,400 everywhere. Uh, whether it be before um, armor is broken or after. But now it is actually 1,250. So they did nerf it a bit. Um, but that's still fine. It's still two shot, but uh, you do have to time your shots properly, and um, you know you have to hit all of your shots. So uh, it's that's why it's important to use it as as a close to mid range gun, not a far range gun. Um, next up, we got the VK seventy eight Commando uh, here. It was actually two thirty uh, before. Now it is two hundred. Uh, before armor is broken however it is now to 60 after the armor is broken so it was changed it was 190 before for some reason it was weaker that's why i'm glad they changed it and somebody actually um caught this which is uh, really good it was just really weird for me i don't know why after armor would be broken the, why would the gun be weaker uh, only thing where this would happen and where it would make sense and where it's acceptable for me is the plasma pistol um, it is 200, but then it is 60 once armor is broken. But that's understandable because armor is, um, it's it's a plasma armor. It's not like an actual armor, physical armor. So uh, yeah, it's it's something that is around you and uh, an energetic one. So that's fine. That makes sense. Anyways, I'm just going to write commando in here because I didn't write the full name. Uh, yeah, so next up is the shock rifle. This is a new weapon and then weapon drill. Um, I didn't see this before. It was actually 660. Uh, actually, it is 660 now. 1,190 uh, head. And then 600 after uh, body shot. And then there's an aftershock, so that's why I didn't mark anything here. Um, it basically does 1,190 and then it kills you because of the aftershock. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, they also added the Mangler, um, which is 710, 710, then 600 after um, armor is broken, which is uh, fine, but it is kind of weird, but still it is pretty uh, strong. It is an insane revolver. Uh, we got the Disruptor here, uh, which is another short to mid range weapon that uh, deals damage over time. So it is a very different weapon. Uh, it is 30 30 and then on the third shot as specified here it does 640 so and after that it resets it becomes 30 30 again and then the 640 uh then there's also an aftershock plus there's also spread which spreads among people uh that are close to you 
or in proximity. So that's pretty insane. Uh, here the heat wave it is still the same. It is six project projectiles, so six times two hundred. It does thousand two hundred vertically, and two hundred between two hundred to thousand two hundred horizontally, depending on how many people you hit and who you hit. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Sentinel beam, another weapon that has been added. Uh, but this weapon is also very very different, as it does between thousand seven hundred seventy to thousand nine hundred twenty, and it is a continuous beam. Uh, I might show this later if uh, I have enough time, uh, but yeah, it's pretty much a ray of light that is just continual and uh, it doesn't need to reach a thousand, uh, 2000 as you guys can see here, which is really weird. That's why I said it's debatable, but who knows, maybe it continuously just kills you and strips your shields, I don't know, bypasses something. Um, now, next up, we got the Stalker Rifle, which is a mid to long range plasma rifle, which is basically like the BR. Um, 75 battle rifle uh, but it is actually stronger in my opinion because it does 660 um, and then 660 in the second one and then on the third one it actually does 370 for some reason it breaks the armor it doesn't do 660 I don't know why or it doesn't um, I don't know it's just really weird it goes 660 660 and then 370, and then after that, it does 310 to the body, and then 680, which could directly kill you uh, in the head. Next up, we got the Cinder Shot, which is a thousand equal everywhere. Uh, before, after breaking armor, it's the same, it's still a thousand, which is insane. Uh, and then we got the Hydra, which is another, um, another special weapon. Uh, it does 510 or 980. I'll show you guys why. I think this is the only weapon where I might demonstrate because it doesn't really make sense why there would be two damage values, but you guys are going to see why. All right, so right now I'm in uh, manual mode. Take down your so targets, quick here, 980 as you guys can see, but once you go to the automatic one, which automatically tracks your uh, opponent, let's say they're moving, it does 510. I don't know why. There's not much of an explanation, but it is what it is, you know. Here it spreads, so of course it's going to be greater than 980, but it is pretty much 980 when you hit your opponent. Gonna do it here once again. There you go, 980. I don't know why it does 510. I don't know if it's a feature or a bug or if it's intentional, but yeah, it's pretty much uh, the values for uh, the Hydro. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. This is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, it's good to know sometimes, you know, what kind of weapons we're using in this game. Overall, um, I'm glad that, you know, they changed a few things, that they've added a few things, and it's good to practice, you know? I'm hoping that they're gonna add this in uh, the next COD or at least in Warzone Pacific but yeah I'm glad that Halo did it anyways like I said it's good to know anyways I'll see you guys next time ciao